Hey folks, this is I always and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Noob Dism Tank. Noob, noob in Dism Tank. Um, and it's a tier 4 game on Himmelsdorf. Uh, he's in the P43 BS. Biz. Wow, I am off my game today. I don't know what's going on. Um, actually, I do kind of. I have an excuse. I am going to wake tomorrow and I am tired. Er, good word. I'm going to wake later today and I am tired. But it doesn't really matter. But right now, this is all about this game and we're going to put everything into this game. Um, I hope I sound better today. Uh, as far as the mic goes than previous times, I've been trying to mess with the audio and make sure it, it's a little clearer, a little crisper, a little better. I don't know if that's going to be happening today or not. Um, I'm currently experimentally running a third program before I run a third program before I uh, put it in the videos so you guys see it. So hopefully that makes it better. Hopefully this doesn't make it worse. I don't really know. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, so for now, we're just pushing up this hill. It looks like most of the team is spread out down below, so he's not going to have too much resistance up here, which is good because there's only him and um, a tank destroyer. What is with him? He's got the Dicker Max with him and the grill down the bottom of the hill. So if there's anything more than this uh, ELC up here, he's going to have real issues. Looking way over there at the T-52, he's going to drop a shell into it. Uh, it's probably going to flee. And if it doesn't, then he's just going to drop another shell into it. Nope. KV-5 gets it as it sticks its butt out. Um, ELC comes around the corner thinking he's going to you know, do something. I don't know what he, th he was thinking he was going to do. Gets shot and murdered. Poor dead ELC. They, uh, they murdered that tank a long time ago, unfortunately. For those of us that really loved it, but um, we just murdered it again. <laughs> Takes Leopard's tracks off. Leopard does fix and move, and he's going to get out of that spot. But the M4 looks like it's going to roll across. Oh, no, KV1, we're not going to go for KV1. We are. Big, fat, juicy target. Why not? Drop a shell into the back of the KV1, and then reload in time to hit this M4. Or is he just going to hit the KV-1 again? It looks like he's going to hit the KV-1 again. Takes his tracks off instead of killing it. Um, it's going to get it's gonna get his tracks back on. We're going to put another shell into it. And then it's going to walk away. Not much we can do about that. It's going to get around that corner before we reload. Um, unfortunately, he takes the shell anyway. He could have used it on this M4. Nope. So he chose to shoot the KV-1. I wouldn't have. That K1 was definitely going to get around the corner before we, we took the shot, but uh, I assume new player not really going to have the best experience. I haven't actually uh, checked out his stats. Maybe I should check out his stats. Maybe we should start checking out everybody's stats when they send me a low tier game as their first game. Um, but we're hoping that K1 comes around the corner first. I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to be the M4. Oh, no, KV-1 is dead. He's going to push down. There's only half the enemy team left. Of course, there's only half his team left, too. So there is that, but we haven't taken any shots yet. So we actually have a, quite a substantial lead over any other tanks to find. Um, at least the first couple times. He can pop out here without too much worry and shoot this M4, because the M4 is definitely focusing on the kv 5 KV-85 unfortunately mistakenly makes the I or does the thing where he thinks that well since the uh, he just got shot he must have fired and that's not the case unfortunately um, M4 not only didn't fire he also had backup so ooh look at this definitely not a new player nice job side scraping ducks out of the way of the Rudy shot and with the aid of our allies we're gonna put this guy down. Unfortunately, that just fired into the SRV. No! But Rudy's got his tracks taken off. Retracking him and doing damage means our allies are going to take him out. Or they're going to reduce him down to very low health and then we're going to take him out. That's what I meant to say the first time, obviously. Um, we're going to 
super fast forward here because it's going to be a little while. There's only three artillery left and a Hellcat. Hellcat was the last spot over by the tracks. And the artillery aren't going to be moving that fast. Slow it down, back down as he comes back towards where we last spot the bishop. I'm going to bet the bishop is still hanging out here. Oh, look at that. The bishop is still hanging out here. We can go ahead and sneak a shot over the rubble. Oh, Bishop looks like he knows there is something up. Or is he just that lucky? I don't know. A sneak shot through here. Oh, yes, we are. And now the Bishop knows what's up. But unfortunately for him, there's no way he maneuvers us. He does try and sneak a shot through that window. That definitely would have hurt had it hit. It didn't. M44 just fired, so we know that. Go ahead and take that snapshot and chase after him with, without real worry. Now there is an LEF somewhere back here. There's a LEF. No, f -f 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 -f. Just, just LEF left. Uh, it's quite possible on the other side. It's quite possible over by the tracks. Doesn't really matter. Oh, it's in fact right there and it's looking at us. So let the allied Dick Marx go first. Takes the shot, gets the kill, but um, takes a heck of a bunch of damage. So now, with the M44, uh, why are we all going the same way? Okay, well, we're going to use the Dick Max as a shield once again. A friendly grill that we've just platooned up with is way back there. It takes out the Hellcat and is looking for the shot on the M44. Uh, well, I thought that killed the Dick In fact, it just took our tracks off. But since we haven't been touched all game, just a repair, repair kit and right back into it as we go ahead and take. Almost get shot by our own grill. But win the game. Well done, sir. Let's jump over and see what his battle results are. Mastery Badge Ace Tanker. He also gets the Bruiser Duos Fire for Effect. Three bonds. That's from the Fuscucci's. Uh, he also gets Brothers in Arms, High Caliber, and Top Gun. Well done. Um, this may have been a bit, a bit of uh, seat clubbing because of just the skill expressed in Noob. But overall, it was a great game. I can't, uh, can't wait to see your next one, man. And thank you so much for joining us over on Discord and sending your, your game that way. Uh, we're going to start, everybody should be sending me games over Discord. And that way, not only can uh, do I have access to them, but all the other YouTubers that want to do games have access to them. And you guys have more chance to get your games out there and seen and on um, more places to get more internet famous, right? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. This was a great game. Well done overall. And uh, it was a joy to watch. I can't wait to see your next one. I think I said that right, but don't really matter at this point. I'll see you all there. This I always throw out.